an opportunity for young people to be able uh, to come out of the shadows into the light and avail themselves for those who qualify uh, under the law. Uh, these are young men and women who came to this country through no choice of their own. Uh, they ultimately, they ultimately uh, have known no country other than that of the United States. Uh, the only flag they pledge allegiance to is that of the United States. The only national anthem they know is the Star Spangled Banner. Uh, and they uh, feel as American as anyone else. So this is an opportunity for them to seek to adjust their status, uh, in, at least in a temporary fashion. This does not grant them permanent residency, does not grant them citizenship, uh, but it is an opportunity uh, for those uh, who have been waiting for a moment like this to be able to contribute fully uh, to American society and realize their hopes and dreams and aspirations. We have some of the most talented students in our state and for that fact in the country uh, who in fact have already had significant investment by the United States uh, in their education, particularly in elementary and secondary education. Uh, availing ourselves of some of the brightest students in the country makes eminent sense uh, for the nation. There's no reason for anyone who wants to apply for deferred action, which is what this is, to go to such entity. The American Friends uh, Committee, the DREAM Act Coalition, my uh, Senate office uh, are all entities uh, that will legitimately help people understand what the law is, uh, how they can avail themselves of it, and provide them with applications uh, to do that and instructions as to how to help them. No one should pay for an application. You can get that on the government website. No one should necessarily believe that they're going to get anything special from anybody. At the end of the day, there are plenty of entities, uh, as those of I've mentioned, uh, among others, uh, that can actually uh, give information and help people prepare themselves. Senator Anything that is administratively given, can be administratively taken away. So the answer is yes. Could a future administration nullify what we are doing today and what the president has given? Yes. If you qualify and receive deferred action, then you can apply for the opportunity to get a parole to leave the United States and visit. But that can only happen, can only happen, I want to emphasize that, if you, not, not that you apply, but that you have been granted deferred action. After you have been granted deferred action, then you must apply again for the ability to travel outside of the country.